If your front load washer has started to become noisy, there may be some simple or possibly serious reasons why that condition exists. The purpose of this video is to help you identify what those noises may be caused by and how to correct it. Now the most common causes for noises in a front load washer is usually a foreign object that has gotten caught between the inner and outer basket on your washer. Items like small baby socks or articles of clothing, coins, nails and screws, bra wires, bank cards, plastic toys, those types of things can fit into that space between the two tubs and eventually cause a noise. You may wish to check out our video on how to remove foreign objects from your front load washer to help you identify where those items might be and how to get them out of there. Now if you do have a foreign object caught between your tub or possibly inside of your pump, if we don't remove that item soon enough, we may cause damage to some internal components on your washer, which could turn into an expensive repair. So next, we'll help you identify, based on the type of sound, what type of an object might be caught in your washer and where it may be located. And we'll also look at some of the common parts that may cause noises as well. Now, if the noise you're hearing appears to be coming from inside of the drum area, to help identify that, we're gonna start by opening the washer door up Make sure there is nothing in our basket and then we're going to slowly rotate that basket by hand and see if we can duplicate that sound. If it is a metal or metallic sound scraping or clicking, we can suspect that we have some type of a metal object that has gotten caught between those two tubs. Something like a finish nail or a bra wire, something like that. So we'll start by just rotating that drum a bit. and we can hear a scraping sound. Check any of the perforations around the inner basket. See if you can see something protruding through there. Things like finish nails and screws can get caught in those holes. And if left there long enough, they can cause damage to the outer tub and create a very expensive repair. We'll also want to check in the area between the door bellows or door seal and that inner basket. And sure enough, found a wire that has gotten caught in there. You may be able to pull this out by hand. If not, you'll need to use a pair of needle nose pliers and carefully extract that from that space between the two tubs. Now, if we rotate that drum and we're getting a ticking type sound, we might suspect that we've got something that has gotten caught in underneath one of these drum baffles. Now by just holding each of the individual baffles as we rotate that drum, you may be able to identify which one has a foreign object caught in it. Now depending on your model, the baffles may be able to be removed simply by pulling them towards the front of the washer. Others may have a screw that secures it to that inner basket and that would need to be accessed either up through the sump area at the bottom of the outer tub or through a fill hose at the top of the outer tub. So be sure to check the information for your model number before you attempt to remove a baffle. And sure enough we found a couple of coins that have gotten in underneath that. These typically won't do any damage, however the noise might be annoying to you. Now if the noise you're hearing is more of a scuffing sound, we might suspect that we have an article of clothing caught between those two tubs. Typically you would only hear this sound when the washer is tumbling at very low speed or spinning at very low speed. You might also find that there is some resistance when you try to turn that inner basket. It should turn freely, however if something is caught between those two tubs, That'll provide enough resistance that not only would you hear some noise, but it would be difficult to turn. So the first place to look would be in this opening between the door seal or door bellows and that inner basket. In this instance, we found an item that is caught and it turns out we have a small sock 
that's gotten lodged in that area. Oh, we still have something caught here. Now we can't see anything more through that opening. Check the top as well. If you can't locate it towards the front of the drum, you may take a flashlight and just shine down through the perforations in the inner basket and see if you can find a dark spot there. If you locate something in that area, the only way that we can typically retrieve that is either to remove the sump hose at the bottom of the outer tub, and depending on your model, you may be able to access that through the back panel. Other models will have an access panel on the front, or you may need to remove the complete front panel to get at that hose. On some models, it may be easier actually to tilt the washer on its side and come up through the bottom if it has an open bottom on it. On other models, there may be a fill hose at the top of the outer tub, and we may be able to locate the offending item from that area and remove it from there as well. So we're just going to remove that top fill hose. We need to compress that and pull it out of that opening. We don't see anything in that area yet, but we'll slowly rotate that inner basket to see if we can locate another item in here. And sure enough, we found an item of clothing. Rotate the drum again just to verify that we've removed all of the items that were caught between those two tubs. Be sure to properly reattach that fill hose. Now if you're getting a loud sound from your washer that only occurs during a drain portion of a cycle, we might suspect that we have something caught in that drain pump or you may have a defective drain pump. Now to help identify that type of a problem, we'll need to inspect the outer housing on your drain pump. On models that have a lint trap or filter attached to the pump body, typically you'll have either a access panel at the bottom of the washer that we can remove to get to that, or there may be a small trap door at the front of the washer that will allow you to remove that trap or filter, and we can inspect for any items that may be caught on the filter or may be caught in the pump itself. Now, if your washer is making that noise during the drain portion only of your cycle, we can suspect that this drain pump may have something caught in that trap or the impeller on that pump itself may be damaged. I'm just going to remove that filter trap it appears to be clear. If we look in that pump body, we can see something is caught. So using a pair of needle nose pliers. Now we'll run that pump again to verify that there's no damage to the pump impeller. We've removed the offending item from that drain pump. We're just checking to see if there's been any damage. And by the sound of that pump, I think we can suspect that we have an abnormal noise there, and that would be indicative of a defective pump impeller. So now we need to change that pump. Now if you're getting a squeaking sound from your washer, and your washer uses a drive belt, you might suspect that might be the problem. First we'll want to Check that inner basket, make sure it turns freely to verify that we don't have something caught between the two tubs. If that's not the case, we'll want to check the belt out. Verify that it's not dried out or cracked or loose and slipping on the pulley, and if so, you'll need to replace it. Now, if your washer is making a knocking sound, particularly during the main portion of your wash cycle, although it may occur during spin as well, we want to look at a couple of items, one of which might be the shock absorber. Typically a front load washer will use anywhere between two and four shock absorbers as well as a couple of springs to hold that tub in suspension. If one of these shock absorbers is defective it may not plunge in and out smoothly and cause a knocking sound. To check the shocks on your front load washer you'll need to either remove the back panel or the lower access panel on the front and then you can inspect each individual shock, looking for signs of leakage or broken mount, and then just slowly raise and lower the tub or disconnect the shock and make sure that it plunges in and out smoothly. 
If the shock is not the cause of your knocking sound, you might have a loose counterweight. So you'll want to inspect the mounting bolts for each of those as well. Pretty much all front load washers we use some type of a counterweight, and typically it's made of concrete, although it may be encased in a plastic housing. Some models will use one, two, and some will use three. If the mounting bolts for the counterweights become loose, you may get a knocking sound, particularly during the spin cycle or in a case where the washer is slightly unbalanced. Simply tighten the bolts. And be sure to check all counterweights, as if one is loose, typically you may find that they all are. Now if you're getting a loud roaring sound from your washer, particularly when it's in the spin mode, you might suspect that you have some bad bearings on the inner basket. This is typically the noise you would hear with a set of bad bearings. Front load washers use two bearings on a shaft that supports that inner wash basket. There's a seal in front of those bearings, and if it fails, the bearings will get exposed to harsh chemicals and water, and eventually they will deteriorate enough where they become defective and often quite noisy. Now, depending on the manufacturer of your washer, you may be able to replace those seals and bearings, or you may need to replace the whole outer tub, in which case that is a fairly expensive repair, and you may wish to look at purchasing another washer instead. So if your washer is making a loud noise during the spin cycle, you might have a bad set of bearings and you may wish to contact a qualified service technician to see whether it's worth repairing or not. Now if your front load washer is making a really loud sound, particularly during the spin cycle, you might suspect that you have a defective tub support. The tub support attaches to the back of your inner basket and it has a shaft on it that fits into the two bearings. Over time, harsh chemicals and minerals in your water can cause deterioration to that metal in that tub support and may cause it to crack or break. If that happens, you will hear a very loud noise in your washer and it could also cause some serious damage to both your outer tub, your inner basket, or possibly personal injury. You can obviously hear this loud racket. You may also see that inner basket appears to be a little out of round. If this washer continues to operate in this manner, it will cause some irreparable damage to the machine. If you suspect that you have a bad tub support, just open up the door, reach in, and just hold onto the front edge of that inner basket, and there should not be any movement or very little movement up and down. If you get that much movement with your inner basket, you either have a completely destroyed set of rear bearings or that tub support is fractured and will need to be replaced. This is an example of a tub support with the shaft at the back where the two bearings would sit. And there's typically three legs on this tub support that attach to the very back of that inner basket. You can see what the detergent and minerals in the water have done to that alloy. They basically destroyed it and allowed it to fracture and break. If this washer was allowed to reach full spin speed, it could do some serious damage to the rest of the washer or possible personal injury. If you have this condition, contact a reputable service tech to verify that that is the problem and have it replaced or replace your washer. Thank you so much for watching this video. We certainly hope that it was helpful to you. And remember to subscribe so you don't miss a thing.